Hello and welcome to the ChessCreator.com YouTube video channel. In today's video I'm pleased to continue with my series of videos on the London system. In the last video I presented an, a trap in the King's Indian defence where White wins a pawn in the opening. This is another trapping line but this time it's much much more interesting. So, one of Black's main tries in the London system is to target the weak b3 pawn by an early c5 and queen b6. In this trap we see this backfire on Black with rather unfortunate circumstances. So, the first few moves are very very thematic in the London system versus the King's Indian defence. So I'll run through these pretty quickly. d4, knight f6, knight f3, g6, and here black prepares to fee and ket over their dark square bishop. White continues with classic London system development. Bishop f4, bishop g7, e3, castles, bishop e2. In the London system against the King's Indian defence it often makes no sense whatsoever to develop the light square bishop to the normal place which is bishop d3. Bishop d3 would simply have the bishop pointing against this, these pawns here and as such the light square bishop would have very little scope during the early and late middle parts of the game. So, if you're playing the London system against the King's Indian defence, um, I'd really recommend Bishop E2. So, this trap continues with very thematic King's Indian moves. D6, H3, and here Black plays C5. With the intention of playing Queen B6 and threatening this pawn here, the b2 pawn. So how should white react to this? Well, in this trap white simply ignores the threat and it castles. Black continues with their plan of queen b6 and here once again we do nothing to protect the pawn we simply play knight bd2 and here we're really intending to play knight c4. So many traps require kind of a suboptimal move or a move that if the trap doesn't work out can leave the person trying to play the trap in a somewhat awkward position. Here instead of that this trap seems to have almost no downsides because if black captures the pawn, queen takes b2, then there are two ways to trap the queen. So let's see this in action. Knight c4. And here if we look at black's queen's position we can see that they already have very few alternatives in terms of flight squares for the queen. Queen b4 is a possibility Queen b5 looks unattractive because it presents tactical opportunities with the light square bishop. And c3 also looks rather awkward. So let's look what happens with each of those alternatives. Two out of three of these lines result in black's queen being captured. And the third results in what I believe is still a very awkward position for black and white recaptures the pawn with a slight edge. So let's take a look at each of these lines. First let's look at what happens if black plays queen b4. Here we play c3. Now this seems a very odd move because it seems to be giving away another pawn. Very often black players will accept the pawn thinking that it's just a 
just another blunder but queen c3 leads to rook c1 and here if we look at black's alternatives in terms of safe squares they actually only now have one safe square which is b4 so queen b4 rook b1 and here black starts to see the unfortunate downside of pawn grabbing there are no safe squares on the b-file this square here is protected by the white knight this square here is protected by the white knight and this square here is protected by the white queen so the only safe in inverted commas position for the queen to go is queen c3 whereupon rook b3 traps black's queen so let's go back to the critical position which is uh, a few moves back after queen takes b2 and knight c4 so how else can black respond here well as we saw in the previous video nearly all the, the flight squares are protected let's see what happens if white plays queen to c3 well queen c3 just really accelerates the loss of the queen because after rook b1 there's nothing that black can do to prevent rook b3 which again traps the queen so once again let's return to the critical position queen takes b2 and the only other square that we haven't tried is queen b5 to most black players particularly playing in short time controls they may not even try this because it looks like it sets up a ta tactical shot with the queen and a discovered attack and here we see that with knight takes d6 and whilst this does not lead to the trapping of black's queen it's certainly an unpleasant position for black to play very complicated and certainly white has regained the pawn with I would say some kind of advantage so if you play the London system and you face the King's Indian defense then this trap is absolutely worth learning it is quite involved so I will cut and paste the alternatives presented in this video into the information panel of the video so I hope this is useful and I hope for those of you that are following the series on the London system this is another useful trap to learn and surprise your opponents with once again I hope you found this video useful please remember to subscribe and you're also very welcome to share this video via Twitter or by cutting and pasting the code onto Facebook pages or web pages etc. So thanks very much for your time and I look forward to talking to you again soon.